So welcome to uh, Gel Printing July. This is uh, day three. Um, yeah, it's a challenge to uh, do daily gel printing and I'm uh, uploading daily videos. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited so far how it's going. For today, my plan is to create uh, some kind of a diptych. So two prints that belong together. So I have two um, square shaped gel plates here. Uh, they are smaller than, than the ones that I used in the previous two videos. Um, these are six by six inches. So that's, uh, I think about 15 by 15 centimeters. And uh, yeah, I want to play a bit with how I can um, uh, unify them too. So my idea is to work with a big stencil. So I've used this one before. It's I've, I've used this one in many uh, monoprints, gel prints, because I love this stencil. And I think I'm going to apply my paint uh, uh, on both plates at the same time and then place my stencil uh, on top. And I think I want to do it offset it a little bit um, because I don't want to make them like uh, mirror uh, uh, mirror opposites. So uh, we'll just see how that is going. I could also do something like this. But of course I make, can make lots of variations. Now the only thing is that uh, I like to work with uh, a base plate of plexiglass. Uh, so that is what I have below my uh, gel plates because I like to be able to, to uh, move my gel plates uh, easily. But that means that they cannot touch each, each other. So uh, the images are not, uh, how do you say that, uh, completely touching each other, but there will be a kind of gap. But I'm going to print them on separate papers. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And uh, I'm going to work with uh, my um, Blick Matte Acrylics, that's uh, what I'm liking right now. This is uh, Purple Matter. And I'm going to use this one as well. This is, this is the Amethyst. And I'm thinking that maybe I also want to use this paint. I mixed this myself. This is not a matte paint. This is uh, mixed from Amsterdam uh, Standard Acrylics. And, but I like to have a bit of a darker touch as well. Uh, if I can find it, I will list in my description uh, from what colors of paint I mix this. Anyway, yeah, let's just uh, go for it. I'm going to use a small brayer so that I can uh, work more locally because I want to use multiple colors, but I don't want to mix them completely. Um, And I, I don't know how this is going to look, but I'm excited to try this out. So I guess that's a good reason. <laughs> Oops. And for this one, I need a palette knife. So this is almost black, but it has a bit of a blue violet undertone. So let's roll this out. I'll start with the lightest colors. I have some scrap paper here next to me so I can roll off my brayer. Let's get some of the purple matter. Here as well. And I can't wait too long because uh, when the paint is still wet, I have to apply my stencil. So let's move these together. And now let's decide how I'm going to 
place my stand. So for now, I'm just trying to center this part vertically and then offset it a little bit to the left. So this is what it's going to be. <laughs> so now I'm going to remove some of the paint. Now I, I never clean my stencil, so there's quite a big buildup of paint on this one. <laughs> so <laughs> this stencil is fairly thick because I've been using this one for years. So <laughs> we'll see what this is going to look like. Okay, maybe I'll spritz a little bit of water like I've done before, especially at the sides. Yeah, so I'm excited about this uh, idea of making a diptych. <laughs> Do I need to spritz more water? Yeah, I want to let this break up a little bit. Let's do that here as well, a bit more. And maybe also slightly here. So I'm leaving my uh, stencil and I'm going to dry this. Now, if I had patience, <laughs> then I would uh, let this dry uh, on the plate for the last step, because obviously where there is water, it takes longer to dry. Uh, but I'm just going to dab it off with some paper towel. And that's fine as well. Here too. I hope I removed enough here in those nooks and crannies because I can see that there's still a lot of paint, but that could be also uh, interesting. So it's really hard to see here through the stencil and everything. I'm really liking this texture here a lot. So let's just give it a quick heat gun. And let's take this off. Yay. I'm liking this. So they are meant to become two separate gel prints, artworks. But they have a relation together. Oh, I love the, that uh, premix color. The, the, color that I mixed here. I really love at least how it looks here on the plate. Let's just carefully, <laughs> Yuna, carefully test to see if this dry not dry enough. I'll try it a little bit more. Oh, I'm really loving how this looks. <laughs> so I can now take my prints. And I'm going to work with a pickup layer. Uh, and if you're new to gel printing or if you want to learn more about specific uh, topics of gel printing, then uh, check out my Patreon because I have a lot of videos there. Uh, one uh, gel print basics series that's really helpful. And uh, but uh, we're also doing uh, a fun project which is really uh, more in depth. So. Um, and that's on my Patreon. But uh, wow, <laughs> look at that. I'm, I'm really excited about these. Just double checking. And just to be sure, I'll hit this just a little bit more. So there are lots of variations on this that I can think of, but for now I'm just going to do a white pickup layer. I'm 
so this is watercolor paper. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so now this needs to dry. And then the twin. So this needs to dry again, and then uh, we can pull the prints together. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. I'm so curious to see how this one turns out. Most of it really came off. There are a few, I don't think you can even see it, a few tiny dots that are left on the plate, but it's not this. This is the texture of the water. So I'm totally fine. This, this went really well. Oh, I'm really loving this. So let me... Now, pull the other print. So, this is the other one. Oh, I'm liking this. I love these colors. And I think this dark uh, color that I mixed myself works actually really well with it. So, I'm definitely going to play a bit more with that. So, let's uh, now get the twin. <laughs> of the diptych so here they are next to each other oh i'm really loving this i'm so happy with this and of course i could now play with this it's not uh, necessary that they are exactly in the direction that i um, started out with i can of course now see for each one which would be the best direction um, I, I tried to center this vertically, but uh, I should have uh, stand up while I was centering it. I was uh, seated uh, bec also because I didn't want to uh, get with my head in front of the camera. But uh, next time <laughs> I'll just do that. But on the other hand, it doesn't really matter, uh, I think. It's, it's also kind of interesting that... Um, then it that is not centered and balanced but uh, yeah I'm, I'm so happy with this um, i could do lots more things with this but um, i think that's uh, something for uh, somewhere in the next uh, days of this month <laughs> i have uh, so many more um, opportunities to play with uh, gel printing so yeah, I hope uh, this inspired you. Uh, I really hope uh, yeah, that, that you feel like uh, getting your gel plate and uh, start playing as well. Let me know how it goes. I'd really love to hear from you. Um, yeah, if you want, you can share your work in my Facebook group or just come and say hello. You don't have to share your work either. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and uh, for my patrons there is um, uh, my gel print basics series that really goes uh, into um, all the basic topics of uh, gel printing and there's also uh, an in-depth project uh, this month. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.